Hello PSN account holders and viewers, welcome to a update video on the PlayStation Network issues that are going on. I'm sure you're also happy that you can't go online and play your games still. The other day I posted a video on this same topic. So we're going to get go get back on that topic, talk about it a little bit more. This is my second little newscast, quote quote, if you will. I will be definitely continuing this on after this whole PSN issue is over and because uh, there's definitely going to be a lot more tech news and stuff to talk about because you know it's just a little bit something for me to get away from gameplay and stuff and talk about uh, and before we start here I want to apologize for a slur that I have right now today I obtained braces and I'm still trying to get accustomed to them so uh, just try to ignore it as much as possible I also want to thank all the people that subscribed to me the other day it really I really appreciate it and uh also, all the likes on the on the other video that is on this topic, I really appreciate that. Gives me drive to make more videos. So, getting on to the topic today, um, the people that went ahead and hacked uh, the PlayStation Network, we what I wanted to talk about was how they did it and what who they are, and because uh, I think people are kind of lost in that uh, section there. They just know that they can't sign into into their PlayStation and go online and play like Call of Duty or whatever you play. So, the people that uh, actually wound up doing it, they're called Anonymous. The, they are an online subculture, and here I'll read off their their motto, if you will. We are Anonymous, we are Legion, we, we do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us. That last expect us part ties into something that happened about a week before PlayStation Network got hacked. They actually went ahead and made a little announcement to Sony, and I don't think they that Sony actually took it very seriously, but I think they should have. They said that they should be expecting some sort of cyber attack on them, and then, uh, like we are all understanding, a week later, you can't sign into your PlayStation Network because Sony is doing maintenance. So, a little about Anonymous. Like I said, they're an internet subculture, and basically, uh, sum it up, they, they're they the cause of riots over things, over the internet, cyber riots, if you will. Because if you think about it, that's basically what's going on. Raids, invasions, activism, protests, public defamation, uh, both illegal and legal ways, and uh, with also good and malevolent intentions. So they're... Their idea is, like, uh, they're related to 4chan, they've been posting, they post crap all over there, and they definitely have power in numbers. Now, what happened, actually, in, on the, uh, PlayStation topic is, here's what I've heard. Their tactic was, uh, a couple of the members of Anonymous, what they did is they went and, I don't know if they uploaded something, but they did something to get... Uh, Sony's attention and the people that work on the PlayStation in that sector, what they did, so they they did something, got the attention of them, and then Sony goes, oh, geez, red light, we should uh, probably go do something about this, guys. So then they direct all their attention over to that. Uh, this is basically the concept that I'm explaining here. They do, they direct all their attention over to this issue, and then in the meantime, while they're sidetracked over there, this is like classic. A couple other guys from Anonymous are doing. All of the stuff that caused the issues uh, that Sony now has to patch up and deal with. So that's basically what what happened. And then also in that first that first thing that they threw up to raise the red flag to Sony and the PlayStation support, it said "We are Legion," uh, tied to a a file or something like that as I understand, and that's obviously like I read off Anonymous, part of Anonymous's slogan or motto. As for the PlayStation and when it's going to be back up, people have been saying, uh, as of today on Huffing uh, Huffington Post, the, they're saying May 31st. That's the most logical date that I can think of also, just because of what Sony's went ahead and said with giving away one month of PlayStation Plus. You, I have talked about that, so it would make sense for them to restart it on a new month. So, 
the 31st of May. That's through my logic. That's what, when you guys can expect to be back on PlayStation. If you are unaware, I'm an Xbox 360 gamer. I am satisfied with my service, like I have previously stated. And, uh, yeah, I do care about um, the internet, internet and the issues of technology and things today. So that's why I'm doing this little cast about it. That the whole operation with with uh, Anonymous, that w they called that Op Sony, actually. They actually had a plan to do this, which is quite obvious, being that they threw up that red flag before they actually went ahead and did anything. So, kudos to, not really kudos to anybody, but kind of just like questioning Sony's, uh, not really questioning, I don't know how to explain it, but I've, I think I've explained it well enough. Um, the updates on Sony.blog or blog.zony, Sony or so whatever it is, they're still sucking. The last one was still on the 5th, 5th or 7th, yes, 5th I think. That was last Wednesday. So, they haven't said anything lately. I will definitely be updating you guys when they say new things and summing up my thoughts and also other news on it. Um, fully restored by May 31st, according to Bloomberg. And in J at the last Japan meeting the other the, uh, last week, they were talking like, we're going to get this up on Friday, it's going to be all good, and then recently... They said, they said uh, it's more of an issue than we thought it was, and then we're just going to take more time on it. And that's the point that they're at right now. So, um, now that I, I've explained basically how things have occurred and our status right now. So, really all we can do is wait for more news, and I will definitely be getting to you guys on that. So, that wraps up my newscast for today. Expect um, more of these on the PlayStation on the PlayStation subject until um, until we get back up online with the network because I think it's a very interesting topic and like I said before expect other topics after the PlayStation Network goes back up. So if you are unsubscribed to me, please take a second to consider subscribing to me for more updates, gameplay. Uh, Basically, anything internet, technology, gaming related. I love it when I get an email that says that somebody subscribed to me or posted a comment or something. It really lifts my day up. Also, give this video a like. I also really appreciate that. So, my name is Tier Vision, and hopefully you have excused my slurring. I'm still trying to get used to this whole braces thing. I my had to wait for my 12 year molars to come in. Those came in like really freaking late. So now I'm good into high school and I have braces. So uh, my name is Tier Vision and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.